All right, so we're doing pulled pork today. So I got about an eight pound butt roast um, that we're gonna throw on here. And it's probably gonna be about an eight to 10 hour deal. So this is gonna be a full day event. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started and get the meat prepped. <coughs> All right, I know I said earlier I wasn't gonna spray it, but I ended up finding some apple juice. Um, I hear apple cider's a little bit better, but uh, I'm gonna spray it a little bit with apple juice um, just to kind of keep it from drying out, which I don't think it was going to, but better to be safe than sorry. Um, so we're about two hours in and we're sitting at 74 and we want to get to about 160 once we get to 160 we'll wrap her in tin foil um, so right now i'm just going to spray her a little bit i don't want to get too crazy with it um, and i also I also got a little bit of water. I don't know if you can see in the, in the bottom pan down there. That's also going to kind of keep it moist. All right, we're about six and a half hours into this. We just hit our 160 mark. Now we're going to take her off and wrap her in tinfoil here. I wish there was an easy way to do this, but there's not. So I'm literally just praying I don't drop this thing. So, uh see how this goes some dudes use like bear claws other dudes just use like gloves I got nothing so here we go I 
was a little easier than I thought. All right, so we're gonna spray her a few more times with the old juice and uh, make sure we wrap her real tight. And we'll throw her back in there and uh, until we get to about the 200 mark and then uh, we'll be ready to take her off. All right, 10 hours exactly, we just hit our 200 mark. So we're gonna go ahead and take it right off the grill, let it rest 30 minutes to an hour. Are you done? Two out of ten.